Well, greetings riders and welcome to day three. Apologies in advance, I stuffed up on the audio and didn't have it plugged in properly, so we're without uh, audio until done true. Uh, but we'll make do and I'll try and remember. Got into Fairley uh, the night before at about 10 p.m. I think, so recollections are correct. Must have got into bed for about 11, sleep for 11.30 and back up 4 a.m. and on the road for 4.30. Uh, on the way around to Benmore, which is the, uh, the first checkpoint. I have to say, it was probably a bit ridiculous really. I was up far too early, thought it was a short distance. And um, the other thing that's a bit silly really is I really wanted to go past the lakes, which of course I did, but I couldn't see them. So we went past uh, Tikapo, Lake Pukaki, and I wouldn't see Ohau, but anyway, uh, even the Lake Benmore stop, I couldn't actually see because it was still dark. We finally reached the Benmore checkpoint at six o'clock and uh, again, in the dark, never mind. Lucky my mate Marty had given me a bit of a heads up on the Benmore checkpoint, so I knew that there could be an issue with Garmin and that it, uh, it sort of dialed in uh, in advance of the event to work out uh, where that one was was going to be, so no worries finding that one. We then started heading around to the southern arm of Lake Benmore, Odomatada and Aviemore, with the second checkpoint being Loch Laird. We may have missed some of the earlier lakes, but this road round to the southern arm of Lake Benmore with the sunrise was just stunning. Things are going pretty well and uh, straightforward, but I'm still underdone in terms of case. So I ducked back uh, towards Benmore again to have another little look. So, scenes of Benmore from the opposite direction. So it's time to stop stuffing around and turn around in Odomatada and head back towards Kurao. Coming up on the right in a second is Lake Waitaki Village with old stone houses originally built for senior workers of the Lake Waitaki Dams projects. We then got back on the road towards Duntroon and as you can see Kura had a bit going on in the past. We've just done the checkpoint at Duntroon and uh, turned out on the final run to Omaru and uh, might just finish up with a little run through the uh, historic area of Omaru. So as we pull down towards um, Omaru with another sort of 30 k's to go it's just interesting to think about the summary of the whole thing 
just as another bloody great event I really enjoyed last year it was my first one this has been stunning in the South Island there's some great roads some great checkpoints a lot of uh, adventure I want to say a special thanks to, to Wayne um, the main organizer and uh, thanks also for possibly accommodating me with a different start location I didn't need it in the end I made it down from Auckland okay what a brilliant event and uh, great seeing all the other riders around the different checkpoints as well everyone's so friendly it really makes for a, um, a special event so I'll definitely be looking forward to next year's event see you there pulling into Omaru Oh, here we go. These guys on the right are bloody legends. Um, one came over with uh, some food and uh, one of the others spotted the camera and said, you know, are you filming? I said, oh, I've got a little YouTube channel it's got like 46 subscribers and he said you got 49 subscribers now what a legend so um, thanks guys awesome you got me down again do you mind being recorded no awesome yeah no well I did see you you going up Nevis and that was bloody impressive so well done. How was it? Oh, it was good. I was too scared to slow it down because I knew what would happen. I'd never get started again or fall over. But, uh, like it took me 15 minutes to get up there and it took me 20 minutes to get back down again. And yeah, the yeah, thing, the... Second gear, leave the front brake alone, eh? Yeah, well done. Well done. Yeah. Okay, we're doing a tour through Omaru, the main drag. Some absolutely fantastic buildings through here. So duck down to the historic precinct. The steampunk. Scenario there. Sorry, I don't mean to confuse people. Up at a wall. Magnificent. Look at some of the facades. Just looking up there. Union stores. Connell and Clues. Harbour Street. Down again. Oh.